Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Marine Barracks Washington, D.C. takes great pleasure in presenting the United States Marine Corps Battle Color Ceremony. The units featured include the Commandant's Own, the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps, the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon, and the official Marine Corps Color Guard. This ceremony celebrates the pride, professionalism, and esprit de corps that are hallmarks of the United States Marines. They represent all Marines around the globe who embody our Corps' values of honor, courage, and commitment. Your applause during the ceremony is most welcomed and is appreciated by every participating Marine. Today's ceremony will be under the command of Captain Evan Campbell of San Antonio, Texas. Our ceremony begins with a performance by the Commandant's Own, the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps. This year we explore what has been hailed as an unmistakable American art form, jazz. Our show opens with the jazz rock band Weather Report's Birdland, made popular by trumpeter Maynard Ferguson's Big Band and the Manhattan Transfer. Next, we highlight complex tonalities and unique rhythmic combinations as we perform guitarist Pat Matheny and keyboardist Lyle May's jazz fusion hit, The First Circle. We continue with a haunting and lush ballad by Richard Rogers and Lawrence Hart, made popular by Frank Sinatra, and later arranged by acclaimed jazz musician Miles Davis. We offer our rendition of It Never Entered My Mind. Our jazz exposition closes with the tour de force of big band sound. Originally recorded in 1968 by jazz drummer Buddy Rich and his band, we perform the powerful Channel One Suite. Music in Motion 2020 will close with John Philip Sousa's most famous composition and our national march, The Stars and Stripes Forever. The commanding officer of the Drum and Bugle Corps is Major James Foley of Orlando, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, under the field direction of the Drum Major, Master Gunnery Sergeant Keith Martinez of Kansas City, Missouri, Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. proudly presents The Commandant's Own the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant's Own, the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps.
The Marines before you represent seven decades of marching and rifle drill precision. Premiering at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. during the sunset parades of 1948, these Marines perform their precision drill in hundreds of public appearances throughout the United States and abroad each year. In addition, they represent the Marine Corps at numerous ceremonies in the National Capital Area, honoring visiting dignitaries and heads of state. Comprised of infantry marines, the Silent Drill Platoon executes its sequence without cadence or verbal command. The M1 rifles they carry, with fixed bayonets, weigh in excess of 10 and 1 half pounds. Representing marines around the world, the Silent Drill Platoon demonstrates the finest in marine professionalism, esprit de corps, and marching precision. The platoon sergeant is Staff Sergeant Henry Truzy III from Louisa, Virginia. The platoon rifle inspector is Corporal Jordan Shields from San Pedro, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. proudly presents the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the colors and the playing of our national anthem.
The Marine Corps color guard before you is unique. Flanked by two Marine riflemen, the 39th Color Sergeant of the Marine Corps, Sergeant Franklin Taft from Mustang, Oklahoma, carries our national flag, while the Marine to his left carries the official battle color of the Marine Corps. The 54 streamers and silver bands displayed with the battle color commemorate the military campaigns in which the Marines have participated. They span the entire history of our nation, from the Revolutionary War to the present. Decorated with palms, oak leaf clusters, and stars, they represent more than 400 awards and campaigns of the United States Marines. It is the privilege of Marine Barracks Washington, D.C., the oldest post of the Corps, to be entrusted with the custody of this battle color. Ladies and gentlemen, our reviewing official for this ceremony is Major General Arthur Bartell, United States Army, retired, President of the Army and Navy Academy. Please be seated.
ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our presentation of the Marine Corps Battle Color Ceremony. Please join us on the field to meet the Marines from the oldest post of the Corps. On behalf of Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., and all Marines present today, thank you for your attendance and Semper Fidelis.